Hi, I'm Christy Dunphy, owner of the Dunphy Group. This is Explore My Town. Hi, I'm Christy Dunphy here with Tyler, two-time Paralympian. So happy to be here today. Tell me a little bit more about the museum. Walk me through it. Yeah, uh, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum, it's such a cool place. So we uh, were lucky last year to win the you know, best new attraction, and it's just a really cool time for us. You know, we are highlighting the Olympics and Paralympics, Team USA's best athletes that you know, go from the very beginning of the games in 1896, uh, what we call the modern Olympics, all the way to the Paralympics in 1960 when they begun, to our current awesome. athletes. So it's, it's a wide range that we're covering, which is a big task but it's a very exciting uh, opportunity for us. Yeah, it's a really cool place. How big is the museum? The museum is 60,000 square foot. Um, you know, it, it's mixed in with different artifacts, exhibits, interactives, a way, as we like to say, there's something for everyone. John Register's prosthetic to me is like one of the coolest things. He's a Paralympian, silver medalist, and you know, we, we have his prosthetic leg here. That's pretty uh, cool. If you go to the cafe, this is kind of like my little funny plug, is that if you order a chocolate milkshake, it's actually called the TC Special. It's not on the, <laughs> it's not on the menu. You won't see it on the site anywhere but I'm a big ice cream fan myself, so that's kind of a, a little thing. And, and we have multiple things like that throughout the museum, uh, throughout the galleries. It's kind of, you know, you're constantly exploring and learning and seeing new things here. How did you get started <laughs> in skiing? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, so my journey started back when I was eight, uh, from Pennsylvania originally, and uh, learned how to ski back there. Got recruited out to Colorado when I was 10 to join the National Sports Center for the Disabled, their adaptive program, and uh, kind of the rest is history. My big like defining moment, I guess you could say, is uh, in Vancouver in 2010. I actually got to go spectate in the Paralympics, and uh, that was when I was like, oh, I gotta do this. This is, this is my dream, this is my passion. This is the, you know one of the, the goals in life that I, I need to accomplish. And somehow, four years later, I made the team for Sochi and made the team for Pyeongchang, South Korea in and, and 2018. And we're hopefully we'll make the team in Beijing in 2022. So we got less than a year <laughs> away, but it's it's a very exciting time. That's awesome. But the museum itself coming here, um, I started last summer um, before we opened. And I've been kind of involved over the years um, through development and just some of uh, like giving input, especially from the athlete perspective, but it's really, Great being part of the um, guest experience leadership team, being being able to um, really just highlight these stories and know what it's like to be an athlete. So really be able to showcase that you know story, that legacy. What would you tell young people who are looking to get into sports? Yeah. You know what, <laughs> when you want to get into sports, the best thing is to just try different things. Go out there, have fun, enjoy yourself. The seriousness, the commitment will come down the line. Yeah. Try a bunch of different things. Don't like, you know, set yourself into one thing right away. You know, I, growing up, I played basketball, I played tennis, I danced for a few years, <laughs> which I wouldn't admit back then. Um, I, I did some swimming, which, absolutely terrible at. That is not one of my hidden talents. I just sink to the bottom. I don't float. But um, I found skiing eventually to be my true calling uh, with a lot of trial and error. So that's what I'd recommend. Just go out and, you know, try a little bit of everything and have fun. Tyler, what makes this museum so unique? This museum, the uniqueness comes from we have something for everyone, truly. We have historical artifacts that you'll never ever see, you know, besides here. We have these amazing athlete interactive training opportunities where you can train and try to be an athlete. You can go into our lab and see the technology behind the Olympics and Paralympics. You know, we have videos, we have media stuff. There is really something for everyone here. And I, I mean, I have not met a guest that has walked out and said, you know, yeah, it was boring or I, I, didn't, I didn't find something for me in there. It really is. We're trying to appeal to all the ages, whether you're a young kid, you know, maybe not that into the Olympics or Paralympics, but you know, you might find some inspiration, or you're, you know, you've seen the games, watched it your whole life, and you, you get to come and see your favorite artifact from your favorite athlete. I mean, it really is kind of a cool experience that you get to see a little bit of everything. It is a really cool place. How do people find you? Yeah, absolutely. We want you to come and visit. Uh, we're on the west side downtown off of Cimarron. Go to usopm.org. That is the easiest way to find all the info, get tickets. Um, we do recommend reservations, especially with the summer coming up and, you know, we're a higher attendance coming in, but we just want everyone to come in and, and be able to have that experience, fulfill their own Olympic or Paralympic sized dreams. To find more hidden gems, come on down to the US Olympic and Paralympic Museum. Join us at Explore My Town 
To have your business featured, go to thedunfeegroup.com.